what up? It's Train. For the past little while, I've been knocked out with strep throat, which totally blows, and it was awful. Since then, I've been kind of just taking everything pretty light, trying to get back into it slowly, not having any relapses. So today, I just got some rehab, and then uh, dynamic day in the in the upper body. So, gonna hit some incline with uh, with bands. So get fast, explosive. Having structured my lifting in a modified conjugate system format, I'm dedicating one day a week to a dynamic effort day. Um, right now for the upper body, that's uh, kind of be a combination of different exercises, including this one, the incline bench. So using the pad so I can move as violently and aggressively as possible, uh, keeping the, the weights really light, 50 to 60 percent, and using pretty heavy resistance bands just to try and move the bar as fast as possible uh, and focus on speed. All done. Good lift. Feeling those auxiliaries at this point in the year. All the small muscles uh, just totally rounded out more. And I'm excited about how that's going to transfer into uh, a heavy power building coming up in the next month or so. Got my morning breakfast sandwich of peanut butter and honey. Get you up and get you going. And today is a very important day because this is the first day since the Olympic Games that I'm picking up and throwing a shot in practice. Definitely going to start with some stand throws and hopefully in a couple weeks time build up to uh, full movement and, uh, and really get this offseason started. In the middle of some rehab right now. Basically, it's December now. I more or less made my decision to to forego surgery and, and try and work this out through rehab and, and rest. So far, I think I've made some great strides and I'm really getting back into what feels like 100% shape. The big test will be throwing and full, full motion throwing and uh, hopefully it works out, but I'm feeling really good and optimistic right now. First throw of the off season. Um, really focusing on staying back on the right leg as I push through the release. Um, too often I found myself in the last few years coming off that right early, so I'm really making sure the right is contacting the ground as I'm releasing the ball. Um, I think it's just really important. That's one of the day. Yeah, I like that. Working in about 200 to 300 medicine ball throws uh, a week for these first couple weeks of, of getting throwing again to take the pressure off the hand and wrist and uh, shoulder and all that elbow. So uh, these are low intensity, uh, but just really focusing on correct positions.
and then uh, a couple other kind of uh, drill throws and uh, you know explosive tosses. To go along with my really controlled stand throws where I keep my right foot on the ground through there the release. There um, I also want to work in like a power stand throw just for specific strength purposes. Uh, I've seen guys like Joe Kovacs and Darrell Hill uh, do this aggressive step over, even as spinners. So um, trying to work that into the program right now. I'm not really quite there physically to, to get a good pop off the left and finish over the board, but I uh, figured something to work on. You mistimed it. Jackson, I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry. I apologize to church. Yeah. Ooh.